Lean forward. 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 Thank you, sir. Don't take the out, okay? Sorry. My name is uh, Lynn Foltz, and I'm here representing Dr. Neil Roy <coughs> in reference to the proposed new office building in downtown Bridgeville across from the post office. It presently is fenced off, the other building was demolished, and this is the primary location of Dr. Roy's building. The purpose of my attending the reading this evening is I understand there are some changes in the works to the zoning ordinances and we would like to get started in the very uh, significant planning stages of this particular building. Um, our request to the township is we will be coming in with a conditional use application and because the zoning changes are going, it appears on your agenda to be adopted this evening, what I need to understand, and Dr. Roy needs to understand, is what are going to be the conditional uses under which we can file an application to the township, or to the borough, excuse me, in order to get this moving through the Planning Commission, Supervisors Commission, Supervisors, and preliminary and come back for final approval. This is the artist rendering prepared by Master Reno. Uh, and associates, and this is just a proposed rendering. This is certainly isn't final, and we are welcome to input uh, from the appropriate governmental authorities here in Bridgeville. This is a five story building, it has approximately five, uh, 4,000 square feet. Uh, we have been to the parking authority in reference to what our requirements are concerned, and I would say they are very supportive, and we've been we negotiated X amount of parking spaces here, and then Y amount of parking spaces elsewhere in, in the borough. So uh, the reason for me being here this evening is to ask under what um, I obviously need a copy of the final zoning changes that are being proposed this evening, and then after that I have to understand what conditions the borough is going to permit us to move forward on this on this building venture and make the applicable application and pay the appropriate fees uh, for a project of this nature. So uh, that's why I'm here and I need some direction as far as the zoning ordinances and we can go from there, please. Okay, thank you. We have two people here who are very familiar on what's going to happen. It'll be the solicitor and the manager. I'll let the solicitor first tell you, Thank give you me sir. your answer. Yes, sir. Come on. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, and Mr. Fulton, I had an opportunity actually to speak last week, and um, I believe he had a copy of the draft orders circulating. Draft, yes. It, yeah, and it has not changed. And I had an opportunity to speak with you last week regarding the only changes that the revisions to draft since the draft that you've got involve the overlay district on Baldwin Street with Lachlan and actually making it clear that they're both encompassed in that and that they're also there apply. The only difference between the overlay, getting ahead of ourselves to the general topic, we've updated and we'll talk in more detail, I'm sure, when the agenda item comes up regarding some of the summary of the changes, but there's been updates to the, the, the general business commercial district now called mixed use district. Um, that applies to the whole borough. However, carved out over in the Baldwin and the Walker Run areas uh, end up what they call an overlay. The primary distinction between the overlay district and the general Main Street, Washington Avenue uh, business district, mixed use district rules are that on Baldwin Street and Walker Street, you will be allowed to have first floor. Uh, multi-dwelling multi units as opposed to the uh, uh, the architecture of the ordinance always has been and is not changing now that in the main downtown Washington frontage strip area the main uh, mixed area there's limited there's rules that limit the extent to which you can put a dwelling unit on the first floor so 
not pertain to you. Yeah, we do, we're um, not planning any, any right. dwelling units so, inside. The now, generally speaking, and your professionals who are well versed and we're familiar with, they will, as I explained to you, um, the application process is, is really an engineer design kind of driven application. And you'll, there's a general application form that you'll fill out with name, rank, and serial number and whatnot, but for the most part, it's your site plan. Because you will file, and, and by the way, you were asking about what the conditions are. A conditional use is not something we make up as we go along. In the draft that you have, it actually sets out the, uh, and there's going to be some flexibility within it, but there are basically the rules and standards set out in the draft that you, that you already have regarding. Uh, so, my understanding is that the draft I have really has no significant changes as it would impact this building. No. no. And, and the updated draft is, is, has been available, and I can forward you actually a digital copy. Could we, have, could we have the approved draft sure. just for yeah, sure. insurance yeah. and yep. legalities <coughs> and transfers and things like that? Happy to do that. After it's approved, sure. whatever is approved by the council. Sure. That'd be great. It had been my intention to get that over the weekend, too, but yeah. I, I did not. I have the latest pre draft, but it will be the same if you're starting to get that out of you. But basically, there's a conditional use application and the companion site plan land development application. Your folks are very well know how to sure. get those in the 12 or 14 copies of your plan documents or whatever you need to be submitted. It will go through the planning commission, then you come to council. Sure. And Thank you, Drew. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Lori, anything you want to add to it? Jim, you want to add to anything? No. I do. Go ahead. And that's an atrocity. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I think that, first of all, are those offices? It's well, professional. Let me interject. Okay. Uh, there's been no application filed. I would recommend the board not comment upon our application that has not been filed and which will be before the board. That's okay. If they meet the standards under the ordinance, they're entitled to an approval of the conditional use. Okay, my opinion, that's an atrocity. Um, it's again, I, I, so again, I am not going to cut folks off. I don't want, when, when, when the board sits on a zoning application, they sit as a quasi judicial body. Because we're not in talking about that concept plan, and I think the gentleman said that's just a concept plan and not their application. I'm just cautioning folks to wait until the time and place, and there will be, will be a public hearing. Actually, conditional use comes with a public hearing. It'll go to the planning commission, it'll be scheduled for a public hearing before this body, and that'll certainly be a time when you can well, share you your opinions. opinions. Yes. <laughs> just one more parking. <laughs> well, thank you, thank you, thank you, please, thank you, Tom. 